overnight. An 82-year-old man out for a late-night walk is one of three people shot on Chicago's south side. CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli is live at the UFC Medical Center where the victim's family is gathering this morning. Hi, Mike. Hi, and family members say Homer Donahue was simply walking his dog when a masked gunman opened fire on a young woman and a man walking in that same area near 82nd and Wentworth. But Donahue was caught in the crossfire, and now that former Western Electric worker and grandfather and great-grandfather is just fighting to survive. This was what it looked like at around 10.45 last night as paramedics tried to save Donahue's life near the crime scene. The senior citizen was walking ahead of the intended targets when he was struck in his back. A 22-year-old woman and a 31-year-old man were also hit by bullets. Here you can see one of those victims being loaded into an ambulance. Both were taken to Christ Hospital in stable condition. While paramedics worked to save the lives of the victims, detectives used flashlights to try and find bullet casings that might lead them to the masked shooter. Eventually, numerous evidence markers out of the sidewalk. Police say none of the victims is a documented gang member. So far, no arrests have been made. A short while ago here at the hospital, Donahue's youngest daughter lashed out at the shooter and made a desperate plea for help. My father's sitting up there in intensive care with a machine breathing for him. While these fools are out here on the street, something has to stop. I'm calling on the mayor, the aldermans, the governor, the, the president do something. Now, family members say a bullet right now is lodged in Homer's back, lodged between his spine and his neck. Now, they say he's a former Western electric worker who has lived in the West Chatham neighborhood for the past half century. Reporting live outside the emergency room at the USC, Mike Puccinelli, CBS 2 News. Marissa, Aaron. Mike, thank you.